What's up guys? So one of the most requested questions is how to track clicks in your Google Analytics. So here, of course, you have your homepage, you can see user sessions, but what you want to do is get a little bit more advanced and uh, check uh, how people interact with your website and which buttons, which links they are clicking. Possibly you have a blog with some e-commerce products or affiliate products and you want to optimize your site exactly for these clicks. But in order to do that, you need to track who clicks and when clicks them. So as, I, as you see in, in my goals, I have set up goal, which is like affiliate button one, affiliate button two, book now button. So I click exactly all, bu all affiliate buttons, which are uh, tracked on my website. And I know exactly on which page where they click and which source leads to click uh, to these clicks. So, and my store has more than 1000 products. So this is like more than thousand buttons and affiliate links. So you can think, wow, how would you do that? I mean, if you would do that for every single click, it's, it's really a massive amount of job. But there is a really simple hack how to do that. It's with Google Tag Manager. So you need to obviously to create a Google Tag Manager account and insert it in your website. It's a really nice tool to track all the events on your website and uh, it's, it's a bit more advanced than Google Analytics. So what we need to do is create a, a new tag. So we need to add new trigger here, uh, which basically trigger type is click all elements. So this uh, trigger will, will uh, fire one uh, user clicks all elements on your website. Then of course we'll have a tag here. Uh, but yeah, I just want to show you how it looks like. Yes, here it is. So that's how uh, Google Tag Manager will work. Uh, so whenever uh, someone clicks uh, some elements, any elements on your website, it will be tracked as an event. So of course, if it's an event, then you can catch it up in Google Analytics. So, and then there are like uh, four uh, parameters for event tracking, category, action, label, and value. So uh, for categories, this will be page URL, but here, what is like really nice, action will be click ID and click text. So basically this is a click text of your link. So for example, I just will demonstrate you uh, my affiliate product. So this is like a button which leads to another website from my website and click text on this button is get tickets. So whenever a user clicks uh, this button here in Google Tag Manager action clicks text would be get tickets and it will be recorded to Google Analytics. Now, we just need to go and uh, publish uh, all these changes here, here in Google Tag Manager. And now I will show you how I set up a goal for this uh, affiliate buttons. So then you need to go to admin. Yeah, uh, goals. And here I will show you how I set it up. So you set up goal, set up custom name, and then event and action, you will set up name of this button. So I just set up get tickets. So here it is the same as here. So every time a user clicks this unique button, which only has this name, get tickets, uh, I will see this goal tracked, as you see now, 14% conversion rate uh, in Google Analytics. And I don't need to add this tracking information for every button. As I said, I have like a thousand of these buttons on my website. So I don't need to add that. I just create in a Google tag and it will do everything for me. 
so in this way using google tag manager is really easy and really fast especially if you have like a thousand products thousand links you want to track but if you have like uh, two three uh, products maybe you don't need to use uh, google analytics you can create just a custom javascript snippet which will fire event to google analytics uh, yeah but once again uh, it's uh, from our opinion it's uh, faster and easier to do with google tag manager so here it is that's how you track uh, clicks and links and buttons in your google analytics and you set up goals and optimize your website hope you enjoyed it see you around